this is a test video for the autofocus, so we'll see if we can hear the shutter, the camera focusing, because if that's the case then I do not want to use this, because that gets very annoying. So, I trimmed my nails, and I covered up <laughs> my wound, so even though they're healing, they don't need band-aids. Um, yeah, so, what I have here um, are these little brown discs, you can't really tell, but this is like a slightly lighter brown than the this one, this side. So, uh, I'll put those aside. What I'm doing is I'm making little cakes um, for my Etsy idea. These are just the prototypes, so it's nothing too special. Right now, I'm not really trying my absolute best. My best certainly can be, not to brag, but um, my best, my best can be something I can be proud of. Um, because I tend to be a perfectionist with this sort of thing. Um, <laughs> but um. Oh wait, what am I doing? This is much too thin. No, no, no. Anyway. Yeah, and I always focus on every little detail, but I'm learning to uh, just give myself some grace. You know, um, there was something online that I read. I don't remember where it was, and I feel bad that I can't give, um, credit to the person that I learned this from, but someone in an article said to have a, a shitty first draft when writing. How tall is this gonna be? Oh no, okay, see here's where I run into a problem. If I do this, the cake is going to be like this tall and that's a problem because then the slices are going to be like this tall and very thin and that just won't do, I don't like it. So I'm just going to have to, no, the, that's exactly why I went in the thin, the thin route in the first place. I knew that I would have to deal with this situation. So. I've never done an ASMR video. Hopefully this um, audio sounds good. I'll listen to this back with my headphones on. See if you can hear me more on this side. And then if you can hear me more on this side. Um, I'll test things out. Figure it out. I don't like using this light. If you could see what I am doing right now to create this light source, you'd laugh. Or at least you might laugh. I have no iPhone. I guess that doesn't matter. Um, anyway. <laughs> For some reason I was like, my iPhone flashlight is better than the Nokia flashlight I have, but it certainly is not. <laughs> They're just flashlights, it's all light. Um, but yeah, I'm using... I'm using my little 
phone as the main source of light, and then I have my lamp up there. You can see all oh, the blemishes in my hand. That's me. Yeah, I guess I'm just talking because I'm for an ASMR video, this doesn't have much uh, sound. And that does. And that does. That's a really good sound. I'll have to make a clay ASMR video. But. I don't know what. I don't know how people online do this, man. They just talk and talk and talk. I'm not much of a talker, unfortunately. It's also like, um. Uh, 2.30 a.m. I gotta take my grandma to chemo tomorrow. I'm gonna have time to record videos at least. Cause that'll be an all day thing. Alright, so I can explain what's happening here. So, the lighter brown uh, right here, this lighter brown is the cake, the chocolate cake. This dark brown is like the crust, as if like it was baked in a round pan. Um, and then I cut the top off to make it flat. That's what that coloring would come from, because the crust on a cake when you bake it is always darker than the inside and then if you cut the top off to make it like a perfect shape that you want then you always have everything except this part the cover so that's to make it look more realistic and uh, this is the filling it's just like a light cream filling I guess it's a really interesting inverted dark, dark chocolate cake I have going on so I made a lemon cake, um, it's over there, I, I can, I might work on it too. I need to go to sleep at some point, um, oh wait, let me think about this, okay, so, if I have the dark on the outside here, and this is up, um, this one doesn't matter particularly. Um, Yeah, but I do need to go to bed at some point. As much as I want to stay up all night. I have a responsibility to uh, drive my grandmother. Unfortunately, very, very unfortunately, I cannot go in with her. Um, I only went to chemotherapy with her like twice before this COVID started happening. Um, so I don't get to go with her anymore. And so she just has to sit there alone. She just sleeps the whole time, which is better, I, I guess, um, than me being there. Because uh, she would probably feel obligated to stay awake if I were there. I wouldn't want her to, but I don't know with her, man. She's a wild card. She's like my second mom. I guess that's what grandmas are supposed to be. Yeah, so... Uh, 
she's got like um I think stomach cancer I don't remember she I, it well it's not stomach cancer it's breast cancer um that's moved to her stomach yeah she, because um she sorry my video cut out she had breast cancer years ago um and uh they removed her breasts. Um, and then it, you know, spread. So, it usually skips a generation. And, uh, she's my grandmother, so that means I'm up for the likelihood of getting it. I am at risk for it at the very least. Um, and apparently, apparently drinking alcohol can um, heighten your risk for getting it, which I do not know. So that's kind of really shitty. I need to just stay away from things that will damage my organs, I suppose. Um, in the past, I've always wanted to turn towards um, substances that would hurt me. Even now, I am afraid that the damage is done, you know that it will catch up to me when I'm older, when I'm the best person I could ever be. I like to think that I'm only going to get better as I discover new things about myself and learn and grow. So, but the past is the past. Um, can't prove it happened according to my sister-in-law, <laughs> which I think is an interesting concept. You really can't prove the past happened, or at least some of it. Um, I just have to enjoy the moment I have, I guess. The time I do have. I might not even live to be old enough to know if I had breast cancer, you know? Or if I was going to get breast cancer. I might die tomorrow. I don't want to. I, I truly love my life. things are out of our control. That noise you hear is my uh, upstairs neighbors. Yeah, so um, I have very thin walls. So everyone can hear me and I can hear them. Hopefully I'll be able to live somewhere, uh, like rent a small house or something. Most likely not, but maybe. Things are cheap in some places, you know? I'll stay hopeful. I could get lucky. Or I don't know. I'm just so hopeful about it. Alright, so uh, that's done. And so now I just stack them. Like so.
Wait, did I do this wrong? Oh, <laughs> crap. Nah, this is fine. Right. I could do it like this, I guess. I did something wrong. It's 3 a.m., I don't know. I can't figure out this clay cake puzzle right now. I can't be bothered. So I'll just do this, which is not what I usually do, I know that for a fact. So yeah, and then you just, um, pull them together. Make them one whole item. It doesn't matter what the outside looks like, um, because I'm going to cover that up with frosting. a good feel to it. That's what I love most about doing um about doing clay is that you feel it. I could go to bed at 4 and get 5 hours of sleep. Oh no, wait. I have to be there by 7.30, so I get 4 hours of sleep if I go to bed now. I could just not sleep. I'll get some sleep. Ow. I gotta switch positions, man. My batteries are low again, I think. Maybe the batteries I'm putting in it are just not capable of withstanding um, all this filming or something like that. I don't know. So I guess I'll make another one. Get light this time. Maybe I'll make this one square. That would be fun. Never made a square cake. Hmm. My mind goes, uh, always goes back to the same thing, which is something I have a hard time uh, dealing with. Grief. Um, and then if you want to get more specific, death. Life after death. Because uh, people die and then you have to keep living without them. Think about my grandma, I guess. She's very important to me, and uh, I feel like I wish I had spent more time with her. And I live right beside her, and I haven't moved yet, so I can still go visit her. 
I don't know why I don't. Maybe, maybe because it just hurts to see her, like, in so much pain. We're gonna watch a movie together, though. I have to go set up her Roku. Well, today I took a, a break. And, um, just really listen to uh, nature and that was good and I, I talked a lot to the camera which is something I haven't done in months so I think maybe now I'm back on track hopefully like, have you ever regretted something that hasn't happened? Those are someone else's words. I don't know whose. But that's how I feel. You know you're gonna miss someone when they're gone. And that's how I feel all the time. I mean, lately it's been better. Because, I don't know, I guess I just recognize that there will be a before and an after. And that both can be good even though that person isn't there anymore. What you had was, was what you get, I guess. Just learning to accept things out of your control. But it still hurts. I'm supposed to get a therapist, but I was on hold for her. And, uh, now I don't think she, uh, I don't know, it's been a while since, since I was on her waiting list. I think I just need to look for someone new.